Yeah, salute. This General Steel reporting from Bucktown, USA. You already know, representing Smith & Wesson every day, all day. PNC, that's that light. And you checking out Hip Hop Junkie Radio. It's a cool time. Chicka, chicka, chick. Production. Ladies and gentlemen, on location at 24 hours of peace with a legend himself. He is like Kim Shabazz. And welcome to the Hip Hop Junkie Radio Show. Peace. It's my pleasure to be here. God, La Kim. Formerly La Kim Shabazz, a law flavor unit, North Zone. You know what I'm talking about. Brick City, stand up. No doubt, man. Thank you so much for um, granting us the first interview of the night, man. And you were very patient. I appreciate that, man. What does it mean for an event of this caliber, 24 hours of peace, man? Yo, this means everything, especially in a city like New Kingdom, man, where there's so much violence going on. The fact that, you know, we got a mayor that's really involved with the people. And you have other different organizations that come out to put this event together. This event has been going strong now for maybe about 10 years. I performed out here the first year, and I've been coming out every year to show support. I actually grew up right down the block from here, so this is like my land right here you know what i mean i'm the true and living god from right here and it, it means everything man to see the people come together as one under one common cause and that cause is for peace so this is always beautiful do you think after every year that it goes down that people walk away with a sense of a pride especially those who live here i think the effect that it'll have man i think they need to do it more i mean this is good as a start because they do it once a year you know what i mean yet we have to keep reiterating the science of peace. We have to implement that and radiate that each and every day. That's why I said when I was on the stage, this is beautiful, 24 hours of peace, but the people have to be about peace 365 days of the year. Every minute, every second, every hour that ticks on the clock, I'm about peace. Because peace is the absence of confusion. It's universal and natural law, you know? Africa Bambada has been talking about implementing um like a union into hip-hop for retirement and things like that what is your opinion i think they should have uh retirement plans uh health insurance and things of that nature or union unions or whatever for artists because you got to understand well in this day and time they have switched the dynamic most artists are doing the independent thing but i came up in the genre where a lot of people were signed to record companies and you had a lot of artists generating millions of dollars for record companies and i think it's something that suge knight was working on striving to get these companies that make billions of dollars off of these artists to create health insurance life insurance and things of that nature for them so a union to um to protect artists rights and things of that nature i think it's peace man as long as everybody go over the paperwork and everything is fine i think it can't do nothing but help the artists in the long run let's talk about the police brutality slash police killers that's going on in america man what is your opinion on this man well this is not nothing new you know police have been brutalizing people of so-called color since we've been over here you understand what i'm saying it's just lately it's been all out like you know just brutal blatantly and you know it the the, the science to that man is that we have to teach the youth man as long as we teach our people man and we educate our people we could police ourselves we got to stop looking toward the police for policing us and learn to come together as a people so that we can police ourselves just like they had an old african cliche it takes a village to raise a child that's what we got to get back to we got to reverse the hands of time to where we look at each other as brothers and sisters and not like we different from one another as long as we think we different from one another they could divide and conquer us and the police going to continue to brutalize now let's go to some light stuff what have you been up to lately? Are you touring anything these days, creating music? What's going on? I'm definitely creating music. Um, I stay in the studio. I'm working with my man, 45 King. I've been doing little spot shows here and there, but my ultimate goal is to give him a third album, which is called The Understanding. I gave him the knowledge and the wisdom. My first album was called Pure Righteousness. The second album was called Lost Tribe of Shabazz. So it won't be complete unless I give him number three, and that's going to be The Understanding. So listen out for that. It's coming to you. Live. When? when I don't have no set date yet. It's coming. 
<laughs> no doubt, man. I want you to give some shout outs before you roll and a voice shot for my show, please, bro. We can take care of shout outs first. I just like to shout out to man, woman, and child. Say peace to the nation of gods and earths and everyone in the whole entire universe. You understand? Peace from the God, Law, Kim Shah, Rika, Law.